Alrighty then. Hey guys, what's up? It's me, Priscilla. Now, um, this is the first time for me. It's not the first time I've ever experienced using Faber-Castell polychromo pencils, but I have experienced them a little bit because one time I think Scrawlerbox sent me a package of 12 Faber-Castell pencils and I got to actually work with them and use them. Now, I have many, 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 many years have been a friend of a friend and a fan of Prismacolor pencils and I adore Prismacolor pencils. Anybody who has a package of Prismacolor pencils knows exactly what I'm talking about. Now I wanted to do a piece talking about and comparing Prismacolor to Faber-Castell pencils. So let's go ahead and open up fa Faber-Castell pencils. Ooh, these are so pretty! Look at how gorgeous these are! And that's how I can always tell these are polychromos is because the gold ring at the bottom. Ah, it's beautiful! And this is a package of 36 and it comes with this little pamphlet and it is a German company, so that's awesome. Shout out to my fellow Germans. <laughs> this is the largest package of Prismacolors I have ever purchased. It's 150, it's the biggest one that you can get and I finally saved up with enough money and I'm still using these. I bought this about three years ago and I'm still using this package to this day. None of them are gone yet, but I want to compare these Faber-Castell pencils to Prismacolor. Before we get started, I want to give you a huge piece of advice. If you decide for Christmas you either want Prismacolor or Faber-Castell pencils, whatever you decide, I'm going to suggest buy them off Amazon because if you go to Michael's or Hobby Lobby, they're very expensive. And plus we've got, Amazon's got some deals for Cyber Monday and Black Friday because right now it's Thanksgiving. Happy Thanksgiving, everybody. I saw a package of 24 Faber-Castell polychromos at my local Michaels and it was legit $70. This is a package of 36. I bought it for $50. So Amazon.com is the best. So let's go ahead and do a piece and I'm going to do this on tone tan. All right, so let's go ahead and talk about this experience. I said earlier that I have, I've worked with about 12 Faber-Castell pencils and I've worked with them because the box sent, was sent to me. I've never worked with at least all these colors before. So I never really had a chance to experiment with the layering with, this is the first time ever and this is a complete culture shock too because I've never used fabric castells on tone tan paper so the layering was really interesting now when I say layering if you've been watching my channel for a while you know that I'm a huge fan of layers on top of layers on top of layers fabric castell it, it seemed like I don't know if any of you are fabric castell people you're fans of fabric castell then it seems like the layering is a little bit difficult compared to Prismacolor. Now Prismacolor has a soft pastel kind of core base to it. It's like a soft core, that's what Prismacolors are called, like the set that I use. But this Faber-Castell, the polychromos, they were, they were interesting. It's like they kind of liked to be layered and I really got to experiment with that with layering when it came to Simba's hair. Now. I don't know, it just seemed like sometimes it wanted to layer and sometimes not. And I also felt really strongly that Faber-Castell polychromos have stronger lead in them. With Prismacolor, whoever is a fan of Prismacolors and have been using them for years, like myself, then Prismacolors are very prone to breaking very easily as opposed to Faber-Castell. I don't know, I, feel, I felt like they really did have a stronger lead and they barely broke and they didn't wear down as fast. I was bearing down on Simba's hair and let me tell you, it was just like, it didn't want to break. And when I'm doing with Prismacolor, they either go away. I only had to sharpen my pencils with Simba's hair at, the, at least once. If I were doing that with Prismacolor, then definitely I would have had to sharpen it at least three times. And when I got to Nala with Prismacolor, I was finding myself sharpening my pencils a lot because I was bearing down really hard, but I, barely sharpen my pencils when I was coloring Simba. Now, when it comes to color, the Faber-Castell, they're beautiful. They're very, very bright, beautiful colors, and 
I honestly feel like a package of 36. It's enough. It really is enough. Like, I probably wouldn't go past the 36 package. I think it's a good beginner's package is the 36 colors. Um, the only the only downside to Faber-Castell Polychromos is my Hobby Lobby and my Michaels juice does not carry them like Prisma colors. If I run out of a certain color of a Prisma color, I don't have to go and buy a new package of 24 colored pencils from Prisma color. I can go and they have a display of individual pencils that you can buy buy by themselves for $1.79. There are no display cases like that for Faber Castell pencils. Uh, Hobby Lobby has this really like, it's a bit like Crayola pencils. I got a couple of them that were Faber Castell, but they are not the Polychromos. So it's insane. <laughs> That's the only downfall to Faber Castell is I can't go and buy individual pencils. If I run out of a certain pencil, then that means I have to go and buy a new package. Uh, but there is an independent art store that's in Charlotte. They might have a display case for Forever Castell. I haven't checked it out yet, but I think that's the only downfall. And with, as you can see with Nala right now with my Prisma colors, you, if you see me like stopping for like a millisecond, <laughs> that's most likely I am sharpening my Prisma color pencils. So yes, the Prisma color pencils, their lead wears down much faster than the Forever Castell. So let's get down to the big question here. What would I suggest more? Well, I've been using Prismacolor pencils since mm, my senior year in high school. That's when I was like introduced to them and then I got really passionate about art when I was like maybe a junior, no, I was a sophomore in college. So I started going to Prismacolor more to coloring more of my pieces, but I have done so many pieces for serious art projects or just for doodling. I've used Prismacolors for many, many years, but nobody told me about Faber-Castell Polychromos. Nobody ever told me about them until recently. My friend Max Steven, if you follow him on Instagram, most of you probably do, he is the one who honestly introduced me to Faber-Castell. Like I was like, what the heck are those? And he was using them on his princess's drawings and he told he not only did he introduce Faber Castell to me, but he also brought up the fact that you can use Prismacolor and Faber Castells together. You can use them; they complement each other well. They work great with each other, and that just baffled me all the more. Like, what? These pencils actually coexist with each other? <laughs> so I don't know. It's up to you guys. They're both great. If you are a Prismacolor person and you want to try Faber Castell go on Amazon and buy the 36 package whenever you get $50. This is your time, people, to ask Santa Claus, I want this for Christmas because a lot of you are probably thinking, oh, I want these pencils for Christmas or I just want to go buy them for Black Friday or Cyber Monday, who knows? But before you do, um, I honestly think that both brands are fantastic. They both have amazing qualities. And it's just up to you which one you're going to go with. But I have been a Prismacolor fan for many, many years. So it's probably <laughs> close to 10 years now that I've been in love with Prismacolors and their quality. But Faber-Castell was just introduced to me. And I, yes, I would buy more Faber-Castell pencils. I'm going to use up these 36. But it's totally up to you. Now, it doesn't really matter when it comes to price because as you can see right here, here's a 72 count for pretty cheap of the Prismacolor, which I would totally take advantage of on Amazon right now. And here is the Faber-Castell. It's, they're both great quality pencils. It's honestly up to you. If you wanna go and just buy a small package of each, they're both pretty cheap and you just wanna try out both, I don't know, ask Santa for both sets, but it's really up to you guys. And I hope this was helpful and I hope you guys have a most wonderful day. 